Hey guys, what's up? So let's start with the second part, adding textures. Um, so what I did was first create the base uh, of the section with which I selected with a lasso tool. So just click L and select the, the terrain and make it uh, black. You know, just put on a new layer and uh, cl click the paint bucket tool and ma make it black. Then I started looking for a background texture, so I wanted some kind of mountains. So I looked for a Google image where it said mountain greenery. I copied the image and pasted it and left it in the in the back layer. So you could just see it in the in the background. Then I looked for an image of grass, which you know needed to be much, much closer. And I you know I scaled it correctly. I put it over the image, you know, over the section, and then I turned it off and started selecting with the lasso tool. You can click L to to find it. And the parts where you want the grass to be shown. So you just select it. Remember to click shift to add to the selection. And um then you turn on the layer of the grass again and apply a layer mask. Just go go to the bottom uh, right part where it says add layer mask right there and just add the layer mask then I desaturated the background I put an adjustment layer and just desaturated it so it wouldn't stand out as much and um, then I what I started to do was uh, also desaturate the grass in, in the front of the image um, so it wouldn't, you know, have so much attention. Then I looked for earth texture, so I would put that in um, the part where the black is now. Because you could, you can have it black, but if you want to achieve a more of a, you know, like the earth was really cut, you can look for earth texture in Google. And then so I you just unified all the layers, and then I selected the black part only and then I applied a layer mask uh, obviously to this you have to make it a little bit darker so it doesn't stand out as much because it's just the, the part that is cut it's not that important but it's just so you can see a little bit a little bit of the earth being cut so that is important uh, I applied another layer mask where I made it darker only on the edges on the borders so just like a normal section you just you have it a little bit darker on the borders and also with the grass, the grass, um, you know, since since the glass since the grass was kind of cut, so you just make it a little bit darker. And you know, the good thing of working with adjustment layers is that no layer is really damaged. So you can you know in the future if you if you made a mistake you can correct it right away, just like you guys are seeing in the video. Um, Next, what I did was create a new layer, and with the lasso tool and with the marquee tool, I uh, started uh, coloring black all the parts where um, it's supposedly it's solid, you know, like uh, the walls, the floor slabs, they're all supposed to be very black, just like in the normal section. So what I did was just select them all with, with the shift button, and click the marquee tool or click M and um, in, in a new layer uh, select the paint bucket and color it all black this will this will make uh, the section much more easy to read and you know it will give it a little bit of more depth that it needs um, so yeah just just color all of that black uh, I also uh, needed to color another part of the of the image because it wasn't uh, supposed to be you know empty so it's I, uh, that's the good thing of working with adjustment layers so, you know you can fix it much much later so that was very very good mm. <clears throat> and yeah the the next thing was just to look for the textures that you were going to apply to the building if you don't want to apply textures to the building it's okay but it's not gonna give it the like the real like the render effect um, that you may want it to have. So I just started looking for textures. Good textures are just 
wood textures, concrete textures, um, grass textures, and you know, the the important thing is having a variety of textures. So it just looks like you know it was kind of rendered. So once you have, for example, this concrete texture that I'm, that I'm showing you guys right now, I'm I put that on one of the the roofs and I applied the the mode to multiply so the shadows would you know would uh, also be shown and I erased the the parts where I didn't want them and also with a with a O tool if you press O or the burn tool you just burn the back part only this is all this is also to achieve a realistic effect and you do that with with all of it all of the textures you have right so once you have the texture it's more of a it damages the image a little bit more but it just burns it you know correctly don't burn it too much just burn it like in the right amount you know just like where the shadows are going to be where the, where the sun doesn't hit as much um and obviously you can just paint the grass again where it's not where it's not supposed to be painted then I started looking for wood textures. Wood textures are always, you know, always make sec make sections look very good just because they have so much variety and they're not like the concrete texture that is just gray. You know, the wood has uh, different tones of darknesses. It's just, it's, it just, it helps the image stand out a lot much more. So it, it's really, really cool. Um, so the thing is, you know, just you're going to copy a lot of the texture so you might want, want to start merging them so they won't you know add more and more layers because because when you have more layers the PSD file is just going to be much more heavy and if you don't have a good computer it's going to be a much more slower process but you know it's not that much of a problem um, also remember you know because we exported this image with shadows right so the parts where the shadows are, you know, are more, you have to make it darker. And then where, when the parts where the sun hits more, you have to make it much, much lighter just to get that re more or less realistic render effect. You know, you, you could uh, apply textures to every single part of the section. This, that would be ideal. Here we only did did it to the main parts, but obviously yes, you could do it with with the other parts. It's also good to have colors that contrast a lot. You know that make a a good balance. I have I have also a, a another dark wood texture because it will just look much better. And yeah, you know just make sure to copy it <clears throat> and merge the layers. And and once you have this, it will look. Um, much much more real that is like the basic principle I mean you can add look for glass texture look for every texture you want you can look for it on Google and then you know you will find it just the important thing is to be precise and know where the Sun is coming from and where the shadows are so that part has to be darker or lighter depending on the on the section right you just, you just have to know that but the rest is it's, it's going good if you guys want to like see the step by step here you guys can slow down the video about three times and you will see like each step I took which is also very important or you can purchase the PSD file if you write an email to let's show it better at gmail.com it's gonna help you guys uh, you know follow along the process much much more and yeah, so just stay tuned for the other videos that are coming up. The, the other videos is how to add a realistic effect on the section in Photoshop.